Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I recently received a message from a viewer asking me which type of computer monitor is worth more money as scrap, the older style or the newer style. And the great thing about all computer monitors is that they are 100% scrappable. I can take both of these in as is and get electronic weight price, which is currently about six to eight cents a pound in London, Ontario, and they are very heavy. This one weighs 19 pounds as is, this one weighs 11 pounds. So at face value, this one is definitely going to be worth more bringing it in as is. But the nice thing about all computer monitors is that they are loaded with great scrappable material and you are gonna make way more money separating the items than bringing them in whole. The older styles have some great copper inside. The newer ones have been replaced from copper to gold. So what I'm gonna do today is open them up very quickly, separate the material, weigh it properly for you, show you how to identify it, and more importantly, how to maximize your profit and divert both of these away from the landfill. So here we go with that. Gonna start with the old monitor style. Very easy to open, just have to take off four screws and I've already done that. Word of caution, you do have to make sure before you tamper with any type of computer monitor or even those CRT TVs, you do want to make sure you cut the red cable here that connects to the tube. Uh, it even actually says here high voltage. I always use a rubberized pair of um, side snippers. I've used uh, wire cutters, but I definitely use rubberized handles and I use one hand. The problem is if you don't take that off or cut that, you can risk a type of shock. So you definitely want to make sure you minimize your chance of injury. And the nice thing about this is there is some great material inside. I have already removed the screws from this uh, yoke. I call these money bells, but some beautiful number two copper inside of here. I've got a nice circuit board that I've already pulled out that has some beautiful copper spool, some nice aluminum uh, heat sinks, which are gonna be extrusion. And I am gonna take these off and weigh them separate as well. As well, another great item you will find that wraps around this um, glass tube here is your degaussing cable. And this cable right here, this one actually was very hard to find. It was tucked underneath. Um, they are definitely different thicknesses. And you do wanna make sure you take a look at this degaussing cable. As you can see, I have already cut it open and you can see inside of that, that is copper. If I was to open it and it was a metallic color, then it would mean that these are aluminum strands and in my opinion, not worth taking them out. I just leave them in there for the weight. But definitely this being that this is gonna be number two copper, currently in London, Ontario, this copper is going for $4.45 a pound, which is an excellent price. If I was to leave this outer coating on it, I'm going to get 60% appliance wire price, which is currently $2.75 a pound. So definitely want to take off this coating here. It's just like a tape that's wrapped. And all I do is I will just take a knife and just slice down the side. Very easy to do. I'll just do it very quickly just to demonstrate. I do always wear safety glasses, but very easy to cut through this tape. Doing it right now. Again, a wire stripper is gonna be way easier, way faster, but again, just that little bit of time, I'm upgrading my wire from 60% to my number two copper. And I am gonna weigh this after, but I wanna make sure I get all the strands off of this tape. Um, great source of number two copper for sure. Okay, so number two copper from the degaussing cable. This yoke, as I said, very easy to take apart. There's a couple layers of copper. There's one on the outer side here. There is inside a plastic bell or yoke, if you will, as well as the outer coating. This has steel on it. This is uh, gonna be magnetic if I put a magnet to it. And the nice thing about the rest of this shell is once I break the copper out of here, as well as the inner layer there, uh, someone said that that layer is magnesium. Uh, either way, for me, I, it, I just throw it into my tin pile. Tin right now in London, Ontario is going for 15 cents a pound. So I'm not losing anything from here, just gaining by breaking it open. If I was to bring this in as is, I'm going to get dirty copper price. 
uh, and definitely going to reduce my profit from this. So very easy to open this. All I'm actually going to do is just take a hammer. Uh, and again, these are always found on the uh, neck here. I have seen some people, in order to remove these, break the neck and it releases the air inside this. You do not need to do that. They are usually just glued down. You do have to make sure you remove. There's always going to be two screws that you remove. And again, the rest of this does not have to be broken. I am going to move this out of the way. And once I've removed the goodies, I can actually just bring this in, put the cap back on, and I'm going to bring the rest of this into the circ or the scrapyard as is because the scrapyards will still take this and count it as e-waste. There is lead inside of the computer monitor. Uh, the speakers I do leave in here and a couple other components. So they will bring these to their um, dispensary or their uh, processing plants and further refine these for the value inside of these. So again, 100% scrappable material. And I am gonna weigh that at the end after. But just gonna quickly get this money ball, or money yoke if you will, just hit it with a hammer. That's why I also wear safety glasses. Okay, so here's a little bit of tin that comes off, starting to break. And the nice thing about this is there's gonna be two layers. This plastic folds open once I start breaking it. Some beautiful number two copper, just gonna start cutting it. Okay, open it up a little bit further. Sometimes your circuit board will have a couple little spools of copper as well. Uh, I will throw the rest of this copper, or circuit board, sorry, into my e-waste so I don't lose any money or value and doesn't go to the landfill. So even though it doesn't weigh much, it all counts. Okay, so I wanna make sure I get as much of that strand off as I can to maximize my profit. Okay, so here is some more beautiful number two copper. And the nice thing is I do not need to remove any of the coating, the tape, uh, I do remove a little bit of that, but that can be on there still. Um, number two copper is any copper that is less than um, 16 gauge, which is the thickness of the lead of a pencil. It's also copper that has a coating on it or glue or um, soldering. So it's all number two. I have had some people say, why don't you melt it down and further refine it to upgrade it? Uh, one of my future plans will be to actually start um, using a crucible, refining it. But the problem is you do have to check with your scrapyards. Some scrapyards will not take uh, your uh, homemade copper bullions or um, uh, molds because they question the purity of it. So you do have to make sure you check. Here is, as I said, your magnetic strip. If I take a magnet... As you can see, this is magnetic. So all I have to do here is I can use a hammer. I just crush it. But all of this outer coil here will go into the copper, obviously. The magnetic part will go into um, my tin pile. Um, again, so I'm not losing anything. And best way for me, actually, sometimes if I'm in a hurry or if it's glued, as you can see, there is glue on this. I can also just use a hammer which I'm gonna do right now, and smash it so it opens and I just collect the pieces after, I just leave them on the workbench. But, there you go, get all that number two copper, which is going to add up tremendously. Okay, so here we go, getting all that copper. There's the other piece of it. Again, just pulling it, it just breaks off, which is great. breaking it off and you know it's also very therapeutic smashing this stuff it's fun gets a little uh, um, aggression out if you will stress relief beautiful okay so there you go last piece okay so I will add this up obviously after but some beautiful number two copper and obviously the size of the monitor does um, impact the, the size of these copper yolks. The bigger the TV, the bigger the yolk. But for this experiment, I'm trying to use two monitors that are relatively similar in size. So some beautiful number two. I'm just gonna put in this container here. There you go. Oh, here's another piece, sorry. Get the rest of this. 
Okay, some tin, some glue. Look at that. There you go. Beautiful. Just some copper, obviously, right now is a scrapper's gold. All-time high prices right now for copper, so you want to get as much as you can. So some nice copper here. And I just throw this into a bag after. Okay, a little bit of plastic, but this is very, very light. I'll tell you, this weighs probably half an ounce. Okay, not even. And there's a little bit of tin I'm taking. The circuit board here, again, I've got some great extrusion. Uh, these I have to open by usually there's screws in the bottle. So just gonna remove these screws as well. Once I get this screw, sorry, I'm trying to find it there. <laughs> it is very warm in here today in my garage and just trying to see through it and work through the humidity here. Sometimes my safety glasses are fogging up, of course. The screws I always put into a container and I will bring them in as tin, but these heat sinks here, you can see, just gonna pull them off. And the nice thing about these circuit boards is once I remove the goodies, I can bring the rest of it still in as e-waste. They will take this, uh, give me six cents a pound. Unfortunately, where I take my circuit boards, they do not give me different categories for uh, e-waste. Some places, some countries will give you three categories, low grade, medium grade, high grade. Because this board does not have any precious metals on it, I'm gonna get, if I was to take it in for grade value, I'm gonna get low grade because it has a little bit of copper, but no silver, or very little silver, sorry. There's a relay box here that has a little piece of silver. But other than that, gonna get low grade price. Some places, as I said, if there is gold on it, will give you high grade. My municipality, my scrapyard will only give me one value, doesn't matter what's on it. So definitely going to be worth a lot more separating these materials. This aluminum, very nice. It's going to be, as I said, um, two to a dollar fifty-six a pound for these. You do need to make sure you take out the pins there. These are going to be magnetic. So this is going to be clean extrusion. Any extrusion you see. Uh, it's aluminum that looks like it's been put through a mold or a press. So great extrusion here. If these were painted black, I've seen black, different colors, greens, and golds, and blues. They would have to be in another category called painted extrusion. It's only about two cents less, but you do need to separate it in order to maximize your profit. As well, the nice thing about these aluminum heat sinks is all of them are going to have pins that attach to them. These pins are actually also going to be number two copper. You can see if I turn it, there is copper in there. So this is number two copper as well. And every one of these uh, heat sinks has them on there. Just going to quickly take all of those off as well. There we go. As well, I'm going to also take off the little spools of copper here. This all adds up as number two copper. Going to get as much of it out as I can to weigh it for this experiment. Okay, just gonna grab this last one here. Where's my hammer? There it is, underneath. Just gonna hit it. There we go. And it doesn't matter, as I said, breaking this, my scrapyard does not care. They will take pieces that have been completely demolished. I just throw it all in a big box. And I believe because I'm getting very low price, that's part of the reason. There right here is also a relay box. Inside of that, if I break this out open, is a small spool of um, copper as well, a small spool of copper, excuse me. But it also has inside a silver dot. That will be, you can see the little smudge on that silver dot is silver. So there is a little bit of silver on there. So I do take off all my relay boxes and I will hopefully one day refine that silver. Uh, I'm not going to use this for the experiment, but I am going to put this off to the side because I don't want to throw that into my e-waste. As well, you can see there is some more wire here. This wire, I'm just going to cut. Here it is again, some more 60% wire. I'm going to look inside of it. Sometimes it is aluminum, but this is uh, going to be copper, and this will be 60% appliance wire. Again, going for $2.56 a pound. The transformer here, I do want to check the transformer. Some transformers are, uh, they have their own category, but sometimes they are better left on the circuit board for weight. If I was to look inside and see a nice spool of copper, then they are gonna be worth taking off. And for this one, I am gonna take this small copper ribbon off. Okay, it all adds up, it's very thin, but again, copper 
Definitely don't want to miss out on it, okay? But the rest of this transformer, I'm going to leave this on here for this experiment. Um, but I think I am going to use it later, break it open, because I can feel, I can't see it yet because of plastic covering, but there is going to be copper inside of that. But I'm just going to weigh it as a circuit board, okay? Again, these two, I'm just going to have to break off the copper in order for this copper to count. I can't bring these in as is because of the plastic, but easy to unwave or unfold. Okay, so just nice, beautiful two spools of copper. But for the sake of speed and time, I'm just gonna leave this as is and just take a couple cents off of the weight. Okay, so that is the first thing. The other thing on the outside is, and I did not factor in yet, are both of these actually have two types of wire, okay? These are your wires that plug into, uh, into the computer monitor and the tower, this one right here. You can see, taking it up to the camera, it has some gold prongs. I do take these gold prongs out and I will separate them. This one is the wire that goes to the um, outlet, so it gives me the power. This one, as you can see right here, because it has an outer coating of plastic inside, it's gonna have three individual coated strands of wire as well. This is gonna be your 40% appliance wire, okay? So the rule is more plastic, less copper uh, recovery. So two layers of plastic gonna give me 40% value, which is currently right now $1.56 a pound. This one, because this is has the, the um, prongs here, once I cut this open, this is going to have actually an aluminum coating around the wires. These types of wire are actually a different category. This is actually classified as appliance wire. You can see the mesh around those wires. So this is actually its own category. This is going for 90 cents a pound, so electronic appliance wire. So most of your computer types um, you will see some smaller types that go inside your computer towers, but definitely need to separate that from these. But again, both are valuable, both are worth money, and both of these computer monitors have the same one. So not going to factor these in, uh, obviously, as difference because they weigh the same, but both of them do have it. Last thing I'm going to do is look at the newer monitor, and as you can see, it had the cord. Here is my power cord. And for the sake of time, I have actually already removed one same value. Inside of these, a little bit different. I do have a circuit board here, has two small aluminum heat sinks. You can see very small, has a small spool of copper there, as well as a couple, three spools there. Okay, so again, this as is at my scrapyard would be going for low grade, but definitely way better to take off the copper. Once I remove the outer frame, this outer frame, I'm actually gonna get more money for this frame as tin than I would for um, e-waste. So unlike the older model, I'm actually just gonna remove this and it just has some screws in it. So I'm just gonna take the screws out and I'm gonna classify this because it's all magnetic. It's gonna go into my tin price for 15 cents a pound. So hopefully that should make up a little bit from the difference between the weight of the original uh, monitor I have or the older one, okay? Because I'm getting for this, I'm getting tin value instead of e-waste, okay? And the nice thing is as well is this outer casing, once I'm done with it, I'm actually just gonna still, got one more prong for a second. There we go. I'm actually still gonna be able to bring this in as e-waste with the rest of the frame. Okay, so this right here is gonna be tin shred that I will weigh separate. Inside, it also, instead of copper, once I remove the frame, on the back of this screen right here, this is obviously magnetic. So again, here's some more tin on the frame. But these ones, interestingly, once I open up the back panel there. I have a new type of circuit board, which is right here. And as you can see the strip there, that is gold. And at a scrapyard, I have actually notified um, 
One of the online sources that I like to talk with is boardsort.com, which is in the United States. Uh, unfortunately for me, being in Canada, um, it's uh, kind of more valuable to start looking at shipping costs. But this would be classified as um, high peripheral board. And there has to be visible gold on there, which you can clearly see. And currently at boardsort.com in the United States, this is going for, um, works out to be $3.32 Canadian. So I think it's $2.35 a pound. This is definitely not a pound, but it definitely adds up. And just to bring my point home, here is my beautiful collection just from flat screen TVs have these now, computer monitors. You can see in there, those are all those high peripheral boards. And this right now, I have over six and a half pounds here. So trying to build up my weight there, I just store these up into a bag because again, if I was to bring this into my scrap yard, I am not gonna get the $2.30 or high peripheral board here. I'm just gonna get e-waste. And again, this is very light. So definitely wanna make sure I get that gold. Some people will refine the gold themselves. And it's something I've looked into, but uh, I'm not sure yet. With the rising price of gold, definitely something that you want to make sure you get. The rest of this screen, I am going to remove, as you can see, the frame. This is going to go into tin. Uh, the backing here, it does have a couple pins that you can see. Once I remove these pins, I am going to take this backing off. But I'm going to leave the rest of this. This screen I will bring in, as well as the plastic on there, as e-waste. Okay. It also has a smaller circuit board here. These circuit boards, again, are also valuable because there is some gold prongs in there. There is an MLCC. These chips are all worth money. This board does have, there was the connector. You can see the gold prongs. These gold prongs I will actually cut with a side cutter and I will put them into a vial. But again, these at boardsort.com are also worth money. You've got the gold finger style. Great website to check out. Um, easy, they're quick to get back to you, but this, I believe, this type of board is gonna be worth um, $2.25 a pound American, um, which is gonna be about, again, $3.30 a pound here. So gonna add up very quickly, but uh, again, checking where you live, shipping costs, all that stuff, you do have to make it worth your while. I have also seen people sell stuff like this online, Kijiji, other online sources, um, just to, you know, they're people that are rebuilding computers and uh, need parts, replacement parts. So that's another option you have. But again, another circuit board, okay? Um, and again, as I said, the rest of this circuit board, once I remove the backing, I just have to close it back up. I will bring this in as is and get e-waste price. So right now, I'm gonna just do some math for you or factoring in. I'm uh, gonna quickly look at the old CRT or the old computer monitor first, sorry. Gonna weigh it out. So here is my scale, okay? Just to show you, gonna take out that number two copper. I'm gonna reconfigure this. So just to show you, that was a small monitor. Again, I think it was 19 pounds, I said. Okay, there it is, zero. So number two copper I have right there. I have 6.5 ounces. Uh, I'm also gonna put in my DGAS cable here because that again also is gonna be number two, easy to bend. So I have right there 11 ounces. So almost three quarters of a pound, which is gonna be you know about $4 almost or 380 right there Canadian, okay, which is awesome. I have just in terms of my aluminum heat sinks, three of them here. I have 4.5 ounces, so almost a quarter, a quarter of a pound. Again, I said it was at $1.56 a pound. So again, get about 40 cents there, which is great. Uh, the circuit board, the rest of the circuit board again is gonna be my e-waste. I'm gonna get, I have a pound, 1.7 pounds here, one pound, seven ounces. So again, at six cents a pound, there's, you know, nine cents, okay. My two cords here, this cord is obviously not gonna weigh a pound. It weighs five ounces, but again, this is gonna be your 40% appliance wire at $1.56. This is going my electronic wire 
For 90 cents a pound, I have 6.7 ounces. Okay. I have a whole bunch of different tin um, from the little pieces. I'm not gonna factor these all in because there's definitely not gonna be a pound yet. But I will lastly check the, oh, sorry, I also forgot to factor in these prongs. So I've got close to 14 ounces of number two copper, which is awesome. And the last thing, obviously going to check with a higher scale here that I have to check the rest of this computer monitor. I still have uh, 17 pounds of e-waste as is that I'm going to get my six to eight cents a pound. So great item. Obviously, the smaller it is, uh, obviously less components. Uh, the older style. Uh, great item, as I said, these are the same components as your old CRT TVs, okay? Uh, going to the newer style here, this I'm going to use as just electronic weight. So I said initially it was 11 pounds. Here I have, I have four and a half pounds of e-waste, if you will, of tin. Here is my tin, again tin, right now 15 cents a pound. Add that up, sorry. What am I doing here? Oh, you know what? I have to use my smaller scale to give me an exact amount. So here we go. Set that at zero. I have... My goodness, this thing is causing me trouble, just the way it's designed. I have two pounds, one ounces worth of tin here. Oh, I forgot this one as well. So I have 2.8 pounds. Okay, so again, it's gonna give me over 40 cents for that. A little bit of copper that I have from this. Uh, again, not gonna be a pound, obviously. I'm gonna probably get, you know, 40 cents from the copper. The one that I wanna look at, this is my high peripheral board. Gonna give me, just for that, this is almost, this is 0.9 ounces. Uh, again, you obviously need a lot of these, um, you know, 16 of these, roughly to make a pound. So again, these definitely worth something. You definitely want to hold on to them. Um, and again, as well, for the price of gold, definitely going to be something you hold on to uh, for long-term investment, if you will. So going to be a lot of these. And again, as I said, with this nice big bag, here is proof that they do add up quickly. Okay. Um, so again, anything else in here, the cables were the same. Again, as I said, I had my 40% cable, I had my electronic one, but clearly you can see the old type of TV has a lot more copper, a lot more value from the copper um, at a scrapper's point of view, um, you know, get rid of it now. Um, the newer ones, obviously with the gold, you do have to do a little bit of shipping, if you will, and some research depending on where you are. But again, both great items to scrap, Thank you very much for the question. Um, obviously, uh, CRT worth a lot more with that way, but more importantly, two beautiful items diverted entirely away from the landfill um, that otherwise would have been because I found them both on garbage day. Um, so thank you for the question. Hope that answered that question. Very interesting question. I do love comparing different uh, items. Please comment down below, like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.